Hello friends and welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video we are going to learn how to calculate an HRE age in Excel. Now there are formulas which allows you to calculate an Gregorian age in Excel but today we are going to see something different and interesting. Calculating an HRE age in Excel. So let's get started. Before we go ahead and start building the age calculator, let us have a basic understanding about the Hijri calendar. Now Hijri calendar is also known as a lunar calendar. Now, and the Hijri calendar started after the migration of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him from Mecca to Medina. Now it's widely used in the Arab countries and it's been used in many places as well. And it contains 12 months and that are depending on the moon motion. The Hijri calendar or the lunar calendar which is totally based on the monthly cycles of the moon phases which is Nordic or Lunations month. On an average, the month lasts for 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes and 2 seconds. And when we convert it to that decimal value, it comes up to 29.53057. If you like to further explore about the lunar calendar and the moon phases, I'll be dropping a link in the video description. So these are the basic things we must know before we go ahead and start doing that calculation for the history age. So number of months is 12 and on an average a month is lasting for 29.53 days. Now taking those two numbers let's go and calculate the number of months multiplied by the number of days that gives us 354 days so hijri calendar a year for an hijri calendar is 354 days now taking that number we are going to do all our magic so let me go and bring up a new gregorian date a date of birth which says 14th of august 1976 and to calculate the age in a gregorian calendar we will simply use this dated if function dated if or dated diff some people they call it as date diff or date diff so whatever you prefer to call it you can call it and we are going to pass the first argument that is start date comma and then the end date is today so today is the date comma and then the last argument we are just going to pass this as y close parentheses enter and we got the number of years the person ages in a Gregorian calendar which we use it regularly. Now in this one we are simply going to go and change the last argument to D that will give us the person age in number of days from the day he is born. Now this is an interesting number so what we are going to do taking this number we are going to divide this by the number of days are there in an Hijri calendar. Wonderful. So we got that age of the person is 46 years. The integer value represents the 46 years is an age of a person as per in history calendar. Now taking this number again, let's copy this formula, cut it and I'm going to call a function integer that will retrieve me only the integer value. So that is 46 years now. Isn't it interesting now, friends? So the person age is 46 years. Now to calculate that months which is there, how many months he has passed out 46 years, we are simply again going to take the integer value out of it and we are just going to keep the decimal value with us. So this is the value which is over here. So let me go and change the formatting and let's go to general so 46 and we need the decimal value we are simply just going to minus it with the year so again let's go and keep that formatting as it is and let me just hit the formatting into all these places so it's 0.6 and you see that there are some more numbers now with this month which is over here Again, we just put it into brackets so we don't mess up with it and then multiply this number by the number of months. So again, we come up with an 
integer and a decimal value and from here we are simply going to again cut this formula and wrap it into an integer function and paste it close parentheses enter and that is the age 46 years and 8 months now we are just left with the days now so you might have already guessed it out how we are going to do this calculation so let's do it again we are just going to simply say equals to and paste that calculation what we have copied it earlier enter 8.33 extract that decimal value and let me go and close the parentheses correctly so that's very important uh, because if you missed out any of your parentheses then you might land up into some crazy number so let's go minus and we have this minus 8 so we got this decimal value again again we'll put it into parentheses and we cut that formula and then we are go simply going to say hey that multiply the lunation yes the number of days in a month basically that will give you nine days now again we are simply going to wrap it into an integer value and get that integer only so the age of the person is 46 years eight months and nine days so let's change some value over here typing by fourth and 86 so that's 36 years 8 months and 23 days so our recipe is ready and we just need to stitch these numbers with the concatenate function or you can just stitch it with an ampersand but if you go on my website the blog page you are going to find this formula available over there where you can just simply go and hit and copy over here this is for the classic method where how we can just simply replace the date of birth which is written over here and simply replace it with the cell value of your desire so let's go and copy this one and we are just simply going to paste it over here and by the way before you paste it over there uh, just you can use the text editor you can paste it over here and simply select the dob which is over here date of birth and here we need to reference it to cell a2 so let's go and edit and go into find and replace this is a text editor on the mac so what do you like to find box bracket date of birth and close the box bracket and replace it with a2 so that's a2 so replace all replace replace yes 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 i want you to replace everything yes so we are done with it and again we are just simply going to copy this and see the magic now i hope everything should work fine this is the lengthy formula we have <laughs> enter voila so you have that date and let's check whether everything is working fine it's 19 86 and that's 14th of april 36 years eight months and 23 days yeah everything is working fine wonderful so this is how you can calculate the hijri age and you can build your calculator and also on my website if you go over here you can see the hijri age calculator is available over here and you can just simply go and enter the date whatever you like to have 20 and it will automatically calculate for you and give it to you over here and also i have created a lambda function so lambda if you have access to lambda right now the lambda is in preview in the insider channel but if you are on to insider channel and if you have access to lambda and i'm sure the lambda is going to come soon uh, on the production channel as well so once you have the lambda you just simply copy this lambda code and uh, you can just go to formulas and go to name managers you can click on new and let's call this as history age calculator and let's go and paste the lambda over here and if you have any comments you can give the comments over here and basically over here uh, you need to declare 
as blank if you want it as hijri but if you want to declare it as gregorian then you need to mention g so this lambda works for both gregorian and hijri as well so let me show it to you perfect let's close this and now i'm just going to insert another column and we are just going to remove everything what we have created over here and simply going to call hijri h calculator open parentheses give the date comma and if we call this as blank this is an hijri h calculation now same way for gregorian gregorian age we'll call that hijri calculator open parentheses take that date comma and now in the codes we are just going to call as g enter so you got that hijri age and the gregorian age so that's the power of excel and getting it into lambdas this can really change the way you write formulas the way you are dealing with the formulas i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that like button share button subscribe it and do let me know in the comment sections your thoughts about hijri and gregorian age calculator and if you have some other calendar age calculator then do write me in the comment section and i would build that for you and see you soon in the next video till then take care happy learning bye